Hey everybody, Dr. Daniel Ricciardi here. Today I'm gonna do a video, it's kind of one I've been meaning to do for quite some time, but haven't yet. Uh, I wanna kind of go over my personal experience with SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, and describe kind of why I struggled with it, uh, what happened, and then eventually how it led to me becoming interested in being a functional medicine practitioner. So I've struggled with bloating and gassiness probably for a large portion of my, of my adult life. It went back to at least when I was a teenager, I would say. Um, I've never been diagnosed with anything like significant, but it would always be kind of an annoyance. It would just be gassy, going out, doing anything, uh, feeling like excess pressure around my abdominal area, like excess bloating. Um, the bloating feeling was probably the thing I hated the most. Not that I was okay with being gassy all the time, but just I had the sensation that I was I felt full all the time. Regardless of if I woke up in the morning, sometimes, not always, but throughout the day I'd feel full even if I hadn't eaten in quite some time. And so it kind of, it took kind of some of the joy out of eating just because I know I'm already going to be, I'm already feeling full, but now I'm adding even more food into my stomach or GI tract area where I'm already uncomfortable. Um, besides that, kind of the bloating also like, I wasn't super self-conscious about it, but I would sometimes see photos of myself afterwards with my shirt off and I'd be like, oh, like, I don't even feel like that looks like me. Like my, my stomach looks way bigger than I think it should. So that was also a negative too. Um, lastly, the last thing I noticed whenever the bloating feeling was there, which was frequent, was for some reason I'd, I'd have trouble like concentrating on tasks a little bit, almost like a brain fog sort of, uh, brain fog, so to speak. Uh, I'm not sure if it was just the bloating feeling was always on my mind and that made it um, difficult to think or maybe that was related some other way. I wasn't really sure. Uh, I'd gone to the doctor probably every time I'd go in there, which was once a year. I'm otherwise very healthy, fortunately. And I would always ask them about it, and they'd always say, try taking some charcoal caps to reduce gassiness. Uh, try to figure out which foods are causing you irritation, which is good advice. Uh, if I could figure that out, obviously, I would try to eliminate those, which I tried to do. I got down to the point where I was eating only chicken, vegetables, and rice for a couple weeks, or probably more than that, probably three or four weeks straight, just to try to reduce everything, to try to add foods back and try to figure out which one might be causing it. And I didn't really have any noticeable difference doing that as well. Uh, so eventually I spoke with a functional medicine practitioner and we did a 50 minute consultation. Uh, I gave them very minimal info, I would say before going into the consult. And as I was going through it, he says, oh, it sounds like you probably have SIBO. And I'm like, all right, what is that? So he kind of went into describing what it was, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And he kind of described it and I was like, all right, like if he's right, that's sweet. Then at least I have an explanation of what it is and is there something that we can do about it or do I just have to deal with this for a long time? So he kind of described what happens when SIBO takes effect. Uh, it's basically when you have a lot of your commensal bacteria, which are normally located in the hundreds of trillions in quantity in your large intestines, due to certain factors such as eating hygiene or like quote grazing throughout the day, they can inhibit what's called the migrating motor complex, which is a cleansing wave which starts at the top of your small intestines and kind of rushes all the way down the small intestines through the large intestines, essentially cleansing the intestines out. When you graze, which is what I was doing, which is essentially having a snack every all day throughout the day, I would have pretzels or just something on me. It inhibits this migrating motor complex. So those cleansing waves aren't going down the right direction, which allows those commensal good bacteria to migrate from large intestines back up to the small intestines. And while this may not seem like a big deal, if these bacteria are getting access to a food supply specific, specifically sugars and carbs up further in the small intestines, when they digest them, they give off gas byproducts. 
uh, such as methane, um, which can cause a lot of discomfort in the GI tract from the excess gas. So he explained this phenomenon to me and I'm pretty much on board to try whatever if it's to make me feel better. So we went through a regimen of antimicrobials and a couple other things mixed in to eliminate the excess bacteria first. And first week was fine. The second through fourth weeks were very bad. I had extreme bloating probably 100% of the time which was frustrating. Um, looking back, I made one kind of significant mistake doing the protocol, which I can get into later, which probably caused to the excess symptoms. But after maybe week five or so, the bloating was pretty much gone, as well as the gassiness, I would say. I was probably experiencing it maybe like one, at the most two days a week now, whereas before it was probably like six days a week, even seven, I would say. So a dramatic improvement. So for this reason, just the, the change in just my general attitude toward food, it was much more enjoyable eating as I'm not already extremely bloated going into a meal. Um, you feel better, able to focus more. I feel like I look better uh, being out at the pool or, or the beach or something like that with my shirt off. So for me, this was a dramatic improvement in my life for those reasons. Uh, being a pharmacist, I'm sure I interact with a lot of people every day that probably have this, and I had no previous knowledge of how to help them or what to do. So this was a strong reason why I actually wanted to get into functional medicine was to be able to offer people perhaps a different solution, something different that nobody's explained to them before, and hopefully I can impact as many people as possible with some interventions like this that are perhaps outside the, the normal realm of practice. So if you'd like to hear more about this, uh, leave a comment or something. If you'd like to have a, a SIBO protocol, if you'd like me to make one, um, if pe enough people are interested, I'd be happy to make one. Uh, drop a comment below and check out some more of my, my material. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to send me a message as well. Thank you. Feel better. Live harder.